Hey folks, Dave Parrish here again, um, doing videos on NAC functionality. <clears throat> I appreciate you uh, tuning in here. Here's what I got today. Jump right into it. I'm calling it logged in user connection workaround. Now I was building this app. This just came up this week, by the way. Um, we're on a detailed view of something in the study. I wanted to create a table underneath it re related to the detail. Uh, so connected records to uh, my detail page or detail <coughs> object. And then I further wanted that uh, I only want to display records, those connected records that were connected to the logged in user. Users have a site they're associated with. So when they went to the detail page, those related records, I only wanted to show not only related records to my detail object, but um, only show the records <coughs> that were associated with the site of the logged in user. <coughs> NAC would not do that, at least the way I was expecting. And I actually got this from their tech support. Um, I found a workaround and it works pretty well. So I'm going to go through that. Thanks. <coughs> Okay, let's just get going on this right now. Uh, I'm going to call up the app. First, I'm going to show you what this app does. Am I at the right place here? Yeah. It's an app that tracks sort of a chain of custody, custody, I'll call it, of medical devices that are being tested. I think it's related to some FDA type of deal. Uh, this doesn't include clinical data. It just shows anyone who's touched this device so there's a clear record of where and who and what uh when type stuff of this device so let's just do this as for an example we create a study i'm going to be quick on it here's a study and this study it doesn't matter the top stuff has several different devices that are going to be part of this study and each of these device can end up at a different site it could be a doctor's office, a hospital, a clinic, whatever. So it ends up here. Now, at the same time, there's users. Um, get my mouse to work here. Uh, go to data. Coordinators are the users at the different sites. So when they go to a, and they're assigned to a study too. So let's see what they have here. Let's go to the coordinator page. Hey, I'm a coordinator and I sign in. I've been assigned to different studies. I'm only going to see the studies that are assigned to me. That's cool. No problem with that whatsoever. Now I go to a study. Let's go to this one. What I want is to be able to I go to a study that I'm assigned to. These items underneath, I only want for that study to show the studies uh, the items, the devices from that study to which I am assigned as the same site. So this study may have four different items going out to different sites. I only want, when I'm a coordinator, uh, to only see the devices that are at the site at which I reside. I couldn't get it to do that. Uh, and I'm going to show you what it did. Here's what I was expecting. If I go to coordinator page, here's the studies. <clears throat> this one's easy. Uh, this study, this shows studies connected logged in a user. And that logged in thing, you see it all the time when you do it. Do you want to add something? Do you want it to be related to the logged in user? Go to the detail page. So now I'm at a detail page of the study itself. If I go here, I want a grid. And inventories is what I'm looking for. These are the device inventories. Click it. Oh, uh, what I was expecting to see stuff related to logged in user. And we're sort of double dealings here. We have related to the study. We got another thing coming from side, which is the site of the logged in user. Um, but it wouldn't do that. <clears throat> I um, contacted, contacted their support and uh, they did. They gave me a workaround. I don't think it might be new, but it's not perfect, but it's pretty good. <clears throat> Instead of using, I'm going to do this a grid view, what they're calling now, you can use a search view. The search was basically a grid view, but it has search criteria up top, uh, which can result in a table, can result in a list too, but a table usually. Here's this table I want. So 
So what we can do, they have a special functionality, which may be new, by the way. Watch this. Here's my criteria. The only criteria I'm going to make is uh, my site. If you click on this and go down to further details, show. You're used to the show stuff on a lot of things. So instead of showing all sites, it says, okay, when the user is selecting criteria or has a criteria and they want to select it, we're going to limit to what they can use or what they can select from. And in this case, we're going to limit it to only sites that they're, they're associated with, which gets me to where I want to be. And then I did some further stuff. Um, I'm going to go back here on the data side. Inventory site. I made it radio buttons and I made it value be the first one um, or its default value. So I'm going to put this in practice. Well, I'm going to go back here real quick. This and this, this gets the job done. Use a search. Now, if you had a whole bunch of different criteria, or there was lots of sites you were associated with, or a whole number of other scenarios, this may not work or may not be as smooth as this particular thing. Um, but let's go give it an example here. Here I am. I pick the study I want to be do. I'm a logged in coordinator. Here's my I'm at test site. Remember, this used to have four. And here are my inventories in the state. Your site, we can put some words here to make it a little more user friendly. But um, now it is just giving me the two. Instead of those four, there's two that only two of these items are associated with my site. And the other two aren't, so they're not showing up. And by the way, since this is pre-selected, I did this, and I'm going to thank Ian at uh, Mac Pros um, for giving me a small piece of code that when this when this page loads, it automatically clicks search. So instead of let's do this, instead of the coordinator clicking the study, having to populate with a blank thing, oh, we got to reset this. Um, Amen. Here, instead of them having to do what I just did, click this, I might have to work on some timing issues there, uh, that it automatically does it. So it's sort of seamless. And in fact, it'd be even better. There might be some code. It's, it's a real small piece of code that allows me to even hide this. So this search criteria thing just sort of goes away and it just automatically populates with it. Uh, but regardless, that works. Uh, and then these further detailed stuff, are, I won't get into it. just goes along to the normal thing we do. Um, Hope that was a little helpful for something. It, it was for me. Appreciate it. Thanks.